Good morning. Uh, today we're going to have a hymn sing during uh, the service today. So uh, you have a little few minutes to make up your minds which song you want to have Michael play for us today, and we're going to sing along. Um, also, um, we're going to have a congregational meeting on uh, October 24th held here in the sanctuary after the service. Uh, we need to elect an uh, at-large member for the nomination committee uh, and to discuss other business of the church. Please uh, make an effort to be here on that Sunday. Um, also, uh, the church is in need of a couple of volunteers to be designated first responders on occasions when the alarm goes off. Uh, and then we need uh, someone to contact to uh, come to the church. Uh, if you're interested, please uh, see Joanne or Brian Shenstone or Monty Visser. Also, uh, this month, on October 31st, we're going to have our Kirking of the Tartan celebration. Uh, we'll be held with um, bagpipes and traditional uh, Scottish uh, desserts afterwards with scones and shortbread. Please attend. It's always a wonderful service. Now let us be called to worship. O come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving, singing joyful songs of praise. Please stand and join us in our first hymn, number 687, God is our help in ages past. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In humility and faith, let us confess our sins before God. Holy and merciful God, in your presence we confess our sinfulness, our shortcomings, and our offenses against you. You alone know how often we have sinned in wandering from your ways, in wasting your gifts, in forgetting your love. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we are ashamed and sorry for all we have done to displease you. Forgive our sins and help us to live in your light and walk in your ways for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Hear the good news. Who is in position to condemn? 
Only Christ, and Christ died for us. Christ reigns in power for us. Christ prays for us. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life has gone, and the new life has begun. Know that you are forgiven, and be at peace. Amen. Now you can share the sign of peace with brothers and sisters. May the peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. pray together the prayer for illumination. O Lord our God, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us grace to receive your truth in faith and love, that we may be obedient to your will and live always in your, for your glory, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. The first scripture reading today is from Amos chapter 5 verses 6 to 7 and 10 through 15. Seek the Lord and live, or he will break out against the house of Joseph like fire, and it will devour Bethel with no one to quench it. Ah, you that turn justice to wormwood and bring righteousness to the ground. They hate the one who reproves in the gate, and they abhor the one who speaks the truth. Therefore, because you trample on the poor, and take from them levies of grain. You have built houses of hewn stone, but you shall not live in them. You have planted peasant vine pleasant vineyards, and you shall not drink their wine. For I know how many are your transgressions, and how great are your sins, you who afflict the righteous, who take a bribe and push aside the needy in the gate. Therefore, the prudent will keep silent in such a time for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, will be with you, just as you have said. Hate evil and love good, and establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second scripture this morning is Psalm 90, verses 12 to 17. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our third reading today is from Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 through 16. Indeed, the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And therefore, him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one whom we must render to an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confessions, for, do we, we, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness. But we have one who in every respect has been tested as we were, are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our fourth scripture reading today is from Mark. Chapter 10, verses 17 through 31. As he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. He said to them, he said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Sell what you own and give the money to the poor. And he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard, it is, how hard is it to enter the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for another who, then who can be saved. Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news who have not received hundredfold now in this age house. Brothers and sisters, mothers and children and fields will be persecutions and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Word of the Lord. I'd like to take just the, this time to say a few words, because I can. <laughs> as, as people who have served with me on session know, I do this from time to time. I write down a few words and just let you people know how I feel. I call this one a, a view from the pew. I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you a few thoughts that have been rolling around in my head. I know the fast, past few months have been very hard on all of us with the pandemic. We thought we had it licked, now it's coming back. We don't really know what's going to happen yet in the future. And also the same is happening with our church. As a congregation, we've had many months without a pastor. And this does not mean that we have not had leadership. We've had many people that stepped up to make sure that we have services virtual or in person, which is not a very easy thing to do. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time thanking everybody who has done this because 
I imagine, like myself, that we do this for, the, for our Lord and our God. That's why we do it. Uh, to worship in a place like this is not you know, very easy to do. We have many things to prepare for Sunday morning services. And if you think about it, you know, this day and age where we hear we can't get anybody to hire anybody anywhere else, if you think about it, these people that work for like $12 an hour doing menial tasks have to face people that are angry all the time. And they wonder why people don't want to take these jobs because they don't want to deal with anger. And it's hard. I understand that. Believe me, anybody who knows me knows I have no patience. So, like, like all of you, we're anxious to see who our new leader is going to be. And hopefully we'll have a new pastor soon. I know our session's working real hard, but it's not an easy decision. We had to pick somebody who's going to fit for us and is going to lead us into the future, not just currently. It has to be something with the future in, in mind. But I, I think that we're in a good place to do that. And I think uh, if we have a little bit of patience, I think uh, our future is going to be very bright. And I know a while back, a few, one of our pastors was talking about the Shawshank Redemption. And I love that movie a lot. But the best line, of course, is the last line. Hope is a good thing. It may be the best of things. I just think our future is going to be very bright. Thank you very much. And now, I, I don't know who's going, to, who, who's going to sing the first song. I'm going to do this. Michael's going to pick the first song. And everybody else, if you want a song to sing... Just shout out, lift your hand up. Yes, so what we'll do is I'm going to have Amy come over to you if you have a song that you would like to sing out of either the red or the blue hymnal. I don't mind. I have been doing this, I'm not going to say how many years, but as a child on Wednesday night at the Baptist Church had a service, and the organist there could no longer drive after dark. So my grandmother thought it would be a very good experience for me to go and be the organist and they were so excited because I could read music. So they had me do him sing. So I love doing him sing, and I don't have gotten to do this very often as a profession. I did this a lot as a child and in my youth, and in my home church we did this a lot too. So I'm really excited to do this, and I'm looking forward to all of the things that you have to sing, and I won't say no to anything in the book, I promise. So, so do your worst, or best. <laughs> Let's start with number one, actually. Number one, I believe, is in the Red Book, is Holy, Holy, Holy. So number one in the Red Book, Holy, Holy, Holy. And I think what we'll do is probably three verses.
to the four. <laughs> because I love the words in four. They're, they were my favorite as a child. Potentate and ineffably. Ineffably sublime.
In the blue book or the red book? In the blue book. Okay, one, two, three. Yay, Easter. <laughs> this one goes by fast, so let's sing all. One twenty-three. Let's sing all four verses. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Dear brothers and sisters, please answer, Lord, hear our prayer when the petition is done. Let us pray. As God's people called to love one another, let us pray for the needs of the church, the whole human family, and all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of the church's traditions discover in their unity in Christ and exercise their gifts in the service of all. Let us pray to the Lord. That the earth may be free from war, famine and disease, and the air, soil and water cleansed of poison. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who govern and maintain peace in every land may exercise their powers and obedience to your commands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will strengthen this nation to pursue, pursue just priorities so that the races may be reconciled, the young educated, the old cared for, hungry filled, the homeless housed, and the sick comforted and healed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will preserve all who live and work in this region in peace and safety. Let us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will comfort and empower those who face any difficulty or trial. The sick, the disabled, the poor, the oppressed. Those who grieve and those in prison. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will accept our thanksgiving for all faithful servants in Christ now at rest, who with us await a new heaven and a new earth, your everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, as a potter fashions a vessel from humble clay, you form us into a new creation. Shape us day by day, the cross of Christ your Son until we, can, until we pray as continually as breathing and all our acts are prayer. Through Jesus Christ and in the mystery of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Now praying the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. With gladness, let us present our offerings to, of our life and our labor to the Lord.
Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and to the service of your kingdom. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be kind and generous to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Alleluia. Amen.